Psalm 50. Asaph speaks of the second coming. The Lord accepts the sacrifices of the righteous and will deliver them. Those whose conduct is right shall be the salvation of God, shall see the salvation of God. A Psalm of Asaph. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very te uh, tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge the, his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds, for every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the name of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou con consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own, thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as, thou, as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that formest God, ye that forgettest God, sorry, Let, uh, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I shew the salvation of God. Interesting. Very interesting. He does talk about the second coming there. It's kind of obvious. The uh, call to the heavens and to the earth that he may judge the people. Gather my saints together unto me. This is the second coming. The saints coming up in the clouds with Christ as he judges the world. And I like that, you know. There's one thing that doesn't make a whole lot of sense there, though. Let me, let me, let me review that one more time. It says here, I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices, for thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will not reprove you. So I'm not going to... But then he says, I will take no bullock out of thy house. I will not take your sacrifices. So is he going to not reprove them, but not accept them? It's a little confusing there, but that's what it sounds like. It's like you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're going through the motions. And so your actions aren't bad. But there's no faith in them. And so I can't accept it. I can't say that you're doing wrong because you're not, but you're not doing, but you're not doing it in the right way. So I can't accept it either. It's kind of like in Revelation where he talks about them guys titles. They're lukewarm, and so you can't accept them. You can't chastise them because they're not doing anything bad, but you can't praise them because they're not doing anything good. It's just he can't do anything. But now, there is Joseph Smith translation on this psalm as well. So let us flip to that here. What the Joseph Smith translation is, again, this is an inspired translation or correction of the Bible done by Joseph Smith 
to restore those passages that had been lost over time. In the King James, verses 21 and 22. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Joseph Smith. These things hast thou done, and I, have, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether as thyself. I will reprove thee, and set covenants in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and none can deliver. I like that. Set the, he's going to set covenants in order. That seems to be an indication of the restoration. Where God says, they say, oh, we know God. He, he's like us. And God says, no, no, this is what I'm really like. And he restores the gospel, restores the covenants. I don't know. It's an interesting change, though.